planning a trip north of the border, maybe to see something that is, well, spectacular. Today we look at the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beauty of Niagara Falls. <laughs> Major Lloyd Hill attempts to shoot Niagara's turbulent rapids. Youngest member of the Hill family, which has time and again attempted to outwit Niagara, he is swept along within his metal barrel through the churning waters. There he is, center screen, twisted and tossed, his barrel hammered by rocks which threaten to split it open. Hill passes through the worst of the rapids safely before he is caught in an eddy and has to be towed ashore. A stretcher is lowered to lift the injured daredevil from the inaccessible rocks below. A freak accident ends the latest attempt to conquer Niagara's rapids as after nightfall, Major Hill finally reaches the top. Although he completed four successful attempts, Major Lloyd Hill was not the first person to go over the falls as a publicity stunt. That honor goes to the man who referred to himself as the Yankee Leapster. In October 1829, Sam Patch jumped from a high tower into the gorge below the falls and survived. This began a long tradition of daredevils trying to go over the falls. One of the most famous happened on October 24, 1901, when a 63-year-old Michigan school teacher named Annie Taylor became the first person to go over the falls in a barrel. Since Taylor's historic ride, at least 14 people have intentionally gone over the falls in or on a device. Some have survived unharmed, but others have drowned or been severely injured. On October 20th, 2003, Kirk Jones of Canton, Michigan became the first known person to survive a plunge over the Horseshoe Falls without a flotation device. The falls are 238 miles northeast of Detroit between the twin cities of Niagara Falls, Ontario and Niagara Falls, New York. More than 6 million cubic feet of water falls over the crest line every minute in high flow. The Niagara Falls are renowned both for their beauty and as a valuable source of hydroelectric power, balancing recreational, commercial and industrial uses. Now if you get nothing out of this video, remember this. Some local merchants on the Canadian side they may try to rip you off. Pay attention. After being rebuked by Ontario's government for charging a 3% destination marketing fee, or DMF, most of Niagara Falls hospitality businesses continue to charge a 3% tax fee under different names, with little or no scrutiny or oversight. The scheme, or as I like to call it, the scam, which has existed since 2004, pulls in at about $15 million a year from tourists who are likely not even aware that this fee is voluntary and that can be removed from the bill if you ask. Staff at close to 80% of the establishments surveyed confirmed that the DMFs are now called DMDFs or TIFFs. You may just see something that says tourist tax. So be on the lookout for these taxes. They cannot legally charge the tax. Tell them to take it off your bill. Knowing this can save you several hundred dollars. As beautiful and as impressive as the falls are, it doesn't take long to view. Luckily, there are several other attractions on both the American and Canadian sides. If you do find yourself looking for something to do while visiting Niagara Falls, head over to the Buffalo side and check out the Teddy Roosevelt Museum. The museum highlights and showcases each state of Teddy Roosevelt's life and explains how he became president. The museum also provides you an opportunity to change history by playing Monday morning quarterback to Roosevelt's decisions as Commander-in-Chief. And for the history buffs, I highly recommend this book. It's called Teddy Roosevelt and the Marquette Libel Trial. It's a cool book that tells the story of while President Teddy Roosevelt sued a reporter at a newspaper in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. He went out there and testified and won the case. It's pretty fascinating. Check it out. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please comment, like, and share. Also, to ensure that you get to see future vlogs as well as past vlogs, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the link below and then click subscribe. Now go, go plan your weekend getaway to Niagara Falls. And don't forget about that tourist tax. Tell them to take it off.